Okay, we have completed the active power production of all the generators, but we need to be sure to include the um, voltage settings of those generators. And the reason is, if you remember those generators, all of them are working at constant voltage and in fact, generator number seven is the swing boost bar. And you must specify inside generator one, ticking this option over here, that this is the swing boost bar, okay? And from there, we, we are ready, we are ready. I mean, we have included the setting for all the generators, active power, voltages, and we have included all the settings, okay? The next step, to be honest, is the most exciting moment of this video, because the next, the next stage, the next step is just basically ruining the load flow, okay? And in this case, in this case, it's extremely, extremely simple. What we need to do is going here to the top, to the tool boost bar, and there is an icon over there that say calculate load flow, okay? That is one way to do it. The other way is going to calculations and say load flow. And if we press that, we are receiving the window from the dialog from Power Factory regarding the command load flow. For this very specific case, I will select the basic options, the default options. And in this case, this is the AC load flow using positive sequence. That is what we need to see, okay? What I will do now is I will say execute, wow, and we get some results over here, okay? And the interesting thing here is we need to be sure that those results are properly, uh, are correct, okay? One way to check if the results are correct, uh, it's comparing with the data provided by the technical report about benchmark uh, systems. And that is what we will do, okay? What we will do is right now we are coming back to the uh, to the report and we want to see if our values or, or, or numerical values are inside the solution, okay? And let's see, let's see. Right now here we have in front of us we have the load flow, okay? And let me check the following. Let's check this voltage over here is 0 0.989 at 21.4 degrees, okay? What we will do is going back again to Power Factory and look at this one. Okay, let me rotate clockwise, okay? And this is giving me 0 0.99 and we cannot compare directly because these have two decimal places and the result in the benchmark is presenting three decimal places. What we need to do is adapt our results. What I will do is edit format and I will say, please show me three decimal places. And right now it's showing three decimal places. In this case, it's 0 0.989, and the angle is 21.4. If we come back to the presentation, if we go back to the presentation, you can see it's the same results. 0 0.989 at 21.4 degrees. And let me check this voltage also, the voltage at E type 2. The voltage at E type 2 is extremely important. And let me go back to my power factory model. Let me rotate a 90 degree here. And we can see over here 1.039 and 48.5. 
If we go back to the presentation, ta da 1.039, 48.5, okay? As you can see over here, we are reaching the same magnitude and angle for those voltage. Now let's compare, let's compare the result of the active and reactive power in this very important transmission line. In this very important transmission line, we have 6,437.3 megawatts. And let's go to Power Factory and see. And I believe all of you can see that the result is 6,437.3. And that is a perfect match with the same decimal places to the source. And let me check, let me check the reactive power. In this case, is 1,973.4. And let me go back to my presentation and check the value over there. And as you can see, is 1,973.4. Perfect match with the same digital decimal places. That means, my dear students, that we have created a very useful, a very good power system, a model of power system that is providing to us the best results because we, 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 we prove that the results coming from power factory are identical to the results published by the IEEE PES in the benchmark system for small signal stability. That means that we are totally sure, we are 100% here that the model is perfectly working inside the excellent power factory and now we are ready to start investigations about possible scenarios or any kind of other study that we want because at the moment we are totally sure that the model inside power factory is basically the same model that is coming from the benchmark system and is providing perfect result for the state state condition well um, now we are totally sure the system is working what is missing is to prepare the presentation of our system in a very good way i mean it's very important that you understand that presenting your results is so important as the results itself. I mean, if you are preparing a power system for your simulations, please take time and prepare the model in a proper way that you can show your results and you feel proud and the results look professional. If you are trying to do a model, if you are trying to create a model and, and you would like to be taken very seriously, please spend time preparing your model, making sure that everything is fine. In this case, I am showing you the final version of the uh, Brazilian seven bus equivalent model. I apply a few, few changes over there, but right now, as you can see, you can see the full model and it's more, look more attractive and it's, it's allowing you to see the results in a better way. I highly suggest that you take time, be familiar with all the functionalities inside the Excellent Power Factory in order that you can improve the, the presentation of your results. Results are extremely important. You must be sure that your load flow match 100% in all the places. I mean, power flow through the transmission lines, voltage, magnitude, and angles, they must match 100%. But also, be sure that you present a system that you feel proud to show to somebody else. It's very sad when you receive a model that is a disaster with the with with the with the data with the presentation and everything. Please, this is the first model that you are creating by yourself. Please take time. 
learn more about the excellent power factory. For instance, if we run here the lot flow, it's quite interesting because you can see here the numbers, okay? But there are many other things that you can use inside Power Factory to make more attractive your results. For instance, if you go here to layers and you go into element details, you can show the power flow directions and you can say, yes, please, I would like to see the active power flow direction. And as you can see, when I run over here, the load flow, you can see how the arrows are showing you the direction of the active power in this system. And if you prefer, because there are some students that they are quite visual and they would like to see animation, well, you can do the animation and right now you can see the arrows moving inside the circuit, inside the system. And right now you can see the full load flow, okay? In this case, you are showing over there the active power, the active power flow, power flow. What I'm trying to say is those arrows are representing the direction of the active power inside the circuit. However, if you prefer, you can go here to elements and show the reactive power load flow. And right now run again the load flow and you can see how different direction the load flow is going. And this is something quite, quite interesting, okay? Something very, very interesting here. Um, not much people use it, but time to time, you need to check what is the performance of the reactive power, and you can do that and a lot more inside the Xilin Power Factory, okay? Right now is the flow for, uh, for the active power again, because active power is basically what is producing a lot of money inside the power system, okay? Well, this is the conclusion of this video. In front of you, you have the full version, the final version of the Brazilian 7 boss equivalent model. I believe this, this, this video will help you to um, cope with your, with your assignment inside power system analysis at master level. And some of the undergraduate or bachelor students also will find this extremely helpful. Um, uh, this is all for this video and thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Bye now.